morning students welcome to our class hope you have all watched the unit 4 reading a rendezvous with ray today we are going to the next reading maya bazaar hope everyone have watched this film if you hadn't watched once you please watch it you will enjoy the film very much now let's start the class kb reddy's maya bazaar has been voted as the greatest indian film in an online poll conducted by a television news channel so the director of the film is kb reddy and this film was voted by all the audience as the greatest indian film why the online poll conducted by a television news channel why did they conduct the poll the poll was conducted to find out india's greatest film till date on the occasion of 100 years of indian cinema and people chose maya bazaar over other indian classics as the film industry is celebrating 100 years so they have conducted this online poll and every audience enjoyed the film maya bazaar so they chose maya bazaar though we have other indian classical films the film is considered one of the enduring classics of indian cinema and was christened a landmark achievement in indian film cinematography art direction and vfx with available technology during the time the following is a review on the film when it celebrated the golden jubilee in 2007 This film is considered one of the long lasting classics of Indian cinema and it was christened and it was named a landmark achievement a milestone achievement in Indian film as well as cinematography art directions and visual effects shot in during that time now we are going to see the review on the film when it is celebrating what it celebrating golden jubilee in 2007 in 2007 so this is about kv reddy's maya bazaar and it was through online poll conducted on the occasion of 100 years of indian cinema and people chose this maya bazaar now maya bazaar forever 50 years ago director kv reddy or for that matter producers nagi reddy and chakrapani would not have imagined what they were unleashing when they decided to make maya bazaar a bilingual in telugu and tamil so this film was taken 50 years ago and we know that the director of the film is kv reddy whereas the producers nagi reddy and chakrapani they did not imagine that this film is a unleashing means which have an effect and they decided to make a film in two languages maya bazaar has been taken in two languages one is telugu and other one is tamil the finished product hit the screen in 1957 to become a landmark movie in the telugu film industry now the product was completed it is ready to release the screen in 1957 then they did not uh, think that this film is going to be the greatest indian film and this became a landmark movie a milestone movie in telugu film industry it became a hit not only for the sterling performances of the star ensemble that it had right from sv rangarao savitri ntr anr and gummadi but also because kv reddy was in full control over every frame of it so today we know who are the actors heroines uh, hero heroines side actors villains everyone we know previously in the past generation these people they have a wonderful sterling performance means everyone have an excellent performance they played excellently in their roles it ensemble it is going to say star ensemble means a group of famous artists during those days who are the famous actors and artists that it had right from the great sv rangarao savitri ntr anr and gummadi but not only with the artists along with them kv reddy was in full control every frame of it so he is going to check 3 4 5 how many times until he was perfect so he used to check so we call it as kv reddy was in full control 
there is little else one could expect when all time great like marcus butley cinematography gandashala music m l vasant kumari leela susila and madhav peddi playback gokle art pasumarthi choreography and pitambaram makeup got together to weave magic around an episode from mahabharata sasireka parinayam sin there is a little else we are go- we are watching only the front side but there are the people who are working day and night and who are they the cinematography people musicians art playback choreography makeup man this everyone's role is there in framing maya bazaar if they did not do in that manner then today maya bazaar is not an evergreen classic film so to weave magic around the episode this was taken from an episode from mahabharata the name of the episode is sasireka parinayam however the greatness of maya bazar about which much is said and written is not just because of these facets alone aspect facets mean aspects alone the greatness of maya bazar much is said and written it is not about these aspects alone it is a tribute to telugu culture language and customs of the land so we are going to show respect tribute mean a showing respect to our telugu culture the language and customs of our land the film was watched repeatedly soon after its release because people identified every character of the film with someone they knew in their immediate vicinity and the audience still do the same now and people when the film was released first time they have enjoyed but even second time third time repeatedly they used to go and watch the film why why the people have gone and watched the film because people identified whom they identified every character of the film someone they knew in their vicinity vicinity mean the area around a particular place and the audience still do the same now even today they will be thinking about it so and so character is just like my uncle or someone someone they will be expecting the dialogues written by pingal nagendra rao as well as the lyrics were the same that the people were hearing or using in their conversation every day so the dialogues were written by pingal nagendra rao so we have known the producer the directors and dialogue writer very important points were the same that the people were hearing or using in their conversation every day so pingal nagendra rao as well as his lyrics were the same how the people were hearing and daily how they will be talking in their houses with friends some with someone others so these are all the natural dialogues if not those became a part of telugu life thereafter sasireka snake gatotkachas manadi sodara prema became immortalized as much as surikantham's anta allamla me kada which has become a way of life in greeting people see the way the affection they are showing in these dialogues this impressed the audience very much as for songs ahana pelianta still reverberates in marriages and vivaha bojanambo is at and there must so after the release of this film maya bazaar everywhere during the occasions during the marriage occasions especially these two songs are most important so they used to keep these two songs it reverberates means have a strong effect on people for a long time repeat several times these two songs and entire repertoire was added to a telugu dictionary by the film so now we can find all that a performer can do everything that a performer knows the entirely added in the telugu dictionary by the by this film what are they take for example talpam used for denoting a cot or a bed so in telugu dictionary we have a word talpam which is denoted it is a cot or we can also state bed 
were telugus using gilpam as an antonym of it till the movies had went so they are going to use the opposite word. kalpam used for denoting a court or a bed where the telugu audience use gilpam as an antonym of it till the movies advent advent mean in the arrival not did anyone tell so emphatically until gadotkachal that ever pattinchukunte matalela purtayi and hence if friends are to be called asmadilu then enemies could be termed tasmadilu so when you gather one of the person starts talking automatically everyone will join in the same way evaru pattinchukunte matalela purtayi and friends are to be termed asmadilu where enemies are called tasmadilu will anyone forget the expression veyendira veduko veeratadu no exception to hi hi sodara and hi hi nayaka the story itself is woven around the love of sasareka abhimanyu with krishna and balrama having difference of opinion over it their wives too took sides as an inevitable in any family to introduce the theme the director uses a magic box an equivalent of a tv screen which displays whatever is dear to the viewer's heart and this story already we have seen it was taken from mahabharata episode is wall episode sasireka parnayam so this is the story woven around the love of sasireka and abhimanyu where krishna and balrama they both have a difference of opinions so balrama is the father of sasireka having difference of opinion their wives to take sides in an inevitable in any family in a, in any family you will observe such kind of characters now the director introduces the theme the theme is a magic box it looks like a tv screen but it displays whatever is very dear the love to the viewer's heart sasireka naturally says now one by one they are watching first it begins with sasireka she loves the abhimanyu very much so immediately when she opens this magic box she naturally sees abhimanyu whereas balrama gets to see his shishya duryodhana on it and uh, balrama's wife laughs up the sight of an array of jewelry and the audience laughed heartily because they knew that someone back home was equally attached to the riches so generally ladies are attached to the jewelry the riches etc in the same manner when this lady opened this magic box automatically she had seen array of jewelry so collection impressive collection of things all collections of jewelry things were watched by her immediately when they look the audience laughed heartily because they knew someone in their family equally attached to the riches when balrama curtly tells her sister rudely curtly mean rudely tells subhadra agadalu agaichalu naaku paniki raavu when he was confronted with the latter's indignation at his decision to separate sasireka and abhimanyu so he confronted clearly anger we can say he is feeling of anger or a feel of surprise that he does he dislike the things to separate the sasireka and abhimanyu women folk among the viewers side recalling their own tribulation in the hands of such brothers even every woman if they have the brothers they are facing the great trouble tribulation is a great trouble in the hands of such kind of brothers frame of the frame impacts viewers with similarities so every scene every make, making of this film it impacts viewers with similar qualities the greatness of the director lies here he successfully reduces all characters to ordinary mortals displaying all the follies of human beings except gatotkacha and krishna so the greatness of the director lies because every character he made into an ordinary person with follies a lack of judgment but the two characters are different one is gadotkacha and krishna then he injects into the yadava household 
a telugu atmosphere full with its simile imagery adage sarcasm and wit now he inject he involves the yadava household how are they with a simile means comparison of two things a word or a phrase or else the next is imagery language that produce images images in the minds of the readers it has saying the words which they are going to say sarcasm using words that are opposite of what one means to make fun of somebody sarcasm and wit finally their intelligence or smartness sense of humor these are all involved in the other household the result of this maya bazaar a feast for the eyes and soul the result means the happiness we can find the happiness it is like a feast a special meal for what for our eyes as well as for our soul that is maya bazaar for you mind you this is a story of pandavas and kauravas with the yadavas pitching in so the entire story is about the pandavas and kauravas but the yadavas pitching in means joining but one never sees the pandavas throughout the film we only hear of them we are not going to see pandavas anywhere but we hear about the pandavas if any nri asked you to suggest ways to teach telugu culture just ask him or her to introduce them to maya bazaar first so if anyone asks you to teach us about the telugu culture first thing what we'll do first watch the film which film maya bazaar first further if they seek to know about their uncles aunt and cousins back home bring in their names look this is your balarama now after watching the film so if you want to show the relatives like uncles aunt cousins back home this is balarama this is so and so you can say any better way of doing it the non words it is la hiri la hiri la hiri lo so it is a great enjoyment it is just like a feast for our eyes and soul and kv reddy has taken the film in excellent way showing our telugu culture and showing the telugu language and customs of our land and if anyone did not watch the film please watch this film so that you can understand the maya bazaar lesson well okay children so thank you have a nice day